Welcome to Paris Landing State Park in Paris, Tennessee for the first ACA major event of the 2016 season in the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Tournament Series. This is the Cabela's Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley, a two-day big fish tournament paying out big prizes and double points in the Cabela's School of the Year competition. Again, it's a unique format. They weigh in every two hours. Um, it's all about the, the prizes, so there are, I know, a number of thousands of dollars worth of Cabela's gift cards. There's a number of other sponsors involved. The Big Bass Bash allows anglers to fish individually while still earning team points. This is kind of just a really fun way to start off the season and really just see our potential and what all we can get in there to get weighed in. I don't know what it is, but everybody gets more excited about a, a Big Bass tournament and because, you know, you don't have to go out and catch those five fish, you just got to catch one. The Big Bass Bash is a favorite among the collegiate anglers. The format is simple. Catch a fish, weigh it in. If it's one of the ten biggest in the session, then you get paid. This year, there's more than $30,000 in gear and tackle up for grabs and plenty of chances to win it. Is that really right? I think so. Seven, five, two, new leader of the whole entire tournament. On day two, anglers launched onto Kentucky Lake under overcast conditions with rain threatening, but the collegiate anglers rose to the occasion, adapting to the constantly changing conditions and sacking up some of the best that Kentucky Lake has to offer. Ow, what the heck? Try to keep up with you. for <sighs> you. <laughs> Back at Paris Landing in Paris, Tennessee, anglers rolled in and out for much of the day trying to pick up their share of the more than $30,000 in prizes. Now that's one we've been waiting for for a while. The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga's Dylan Filardo stepped to the scales with the biggest fish of the morning. He's a little low. Seven, one, three, new big fish. Dylan won the first session of the day, but it was Ty Cox from Itawamba Community College that stole the show with the biggest fish of the tournament. Looky here, folks. First eight pounder, 835 right there. Man, uh, yesterday, you know, we didn't catch nothing. We went north. Uh, this morning, we went way south, nearly New, right at New Johnsonville. Uh, just picked up a rattle trap and started throwing, uh, and it just worked out. Congratulations to Ty Cox and Itawamba Community College. That's a big win for a small school in its first season competing against some of the toughest anglers in the country on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Tournament Series. The fishing on Kentucky Lake was fantastic. And next season, the Association of Collegiate Anglers and the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley will return to Paris, Tennessee in March of 2017. For the complete schedule, please visit collegiatebasschampionship.com. What the Cabela's Collegiate Championship Series does with their tournaments, um, I try to beat every single one for a reason, right? This is the best of the best. The number of anglers they get, the quality of the anglers, the, the quality of the event that's put on is, is second to none. So that, that's exciting. Taking a look at the Cabela's School of the Year point standing, it's a tight race as some of the best collegiate bass clubs in the country vie for the most elusive and prestigious title in collegiate fishing. Winning the Cabela's School of the Year is all about performance and consistency. I think it's also equivalent to I mean, any, kind, any kind of, like, let's say, the top 25 football teams in the country, Division One. I. I think it's very similar as far as standings as that. I feel like if you finish in the top 20 or 30 teams in the country, you're one of the 20 or 30 best bass clubs in the country for that year. That does it for the 2016 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley.